Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into the dark side of crypto with the recent collapse of Aladdin bot. Remember that magic lamp you wished on as a kid? Well, this ain't that, Aladdin. This is a story of broken promises, lost dreams, and a whole lot of red flags. Imagine pouring your hard-earned cash into a platform promising crazy returns, only to find out you can't even get your money back. That's exactly what happened to investors in Aladdin Bot. Starting mid-January, withdrawals stopped flowing. Excuses flew like magic carpets. But the reality was, the money was gone. Trying to access Aladdin Bot's website now? You'll get a cryptic, too many requests message. But peek behind the curtain, the website code, and you'll see the truth. Aladdin Bot disabled their own server. They literally shut the door on their investors. Remember when genies granted wishes? Aladdin Bot's last message was on February 15th, promising solutions with their IT team. But guess what? Poof! Radio silence ever since. Not exactly confidence inspiring, is it? Now, the face behind this magic trick gone wrong? Mark Davis an Australian fellow with a history of, shall we say, questionable ventures. Think AI Trade and PGI Global, both MLM Ponzi schemes that went bust. Seems Aladdin Bot was just another act in his not-so-magical playbook. Thousands of people, that's who. Website data suggests over 60,000 visits in January alone, mainly from the U.S. and Hungary, but the exact number of victims and the total losses remain a mystery, one thing's for sure. Aladdin Bot's crash left a trail of heartache and empty wallets. This isn't the first, and sadly, won't be the last, MLM Ponzi scheme. They lure you in with promises of riches, but the only magic is how quickly your money disappears. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. For Aladdin Bot victims, the road ahead is tough. Legal options exist, but recovering lost funds is often an uphill battle. So that's it, the rise and fall of Aladdin Bot. Remember, in the land of crypto, wishes don't always come true. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and don't be afraid to ask questions.